Cooper, why don't you go do your own hair by yourself today? Do you want to try that? I saw some kids the other day and I asked them, I said, do you do your own hair? And they said, yep, and they looked so sharp. So why don't you go show me how well you can do your hair. Go spray it down and come back. You know what, even Uncle Joel doesn't know how to do his own hair. <laughs> he has Aunt Bonnie do his hair for him every day. <laughs> Let me see that one more time. Put your head down. Man, not terrible for your first try. Should we leave it or do you want mom to fix it? Should we tell Cooper what that's called? Oh, we call these Daves. <laughs> Sorry to anybody who out there whose name is Dave, but three of the seven Daves we know always have like Stick ups in the back of their heads, so we call them Daves. Hi, sister. You being so cute today? Let's get you to smile. Huh? Can you smile? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. coo noises with their mouth. Okay, we're gonna try her very first pair of shoes on, ever. Let's see if they stay on. Oh dear, okay. I don't know why I do this. I do this with all my babies and then I'm like, why do I even try? Because of course these shoes just fall off. But these ones are gonna outgrow. She won't fit in them. Oh my gosh, those are cute and they fit. You like your shoes? You like your shoes? What do you think? Fit in the oh, room. I don't think don't so. Don't think so, Emma. These are doll Those shoes. Those are dolly shoes. These are a little bit bigger than your doll, I think. Mom? Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Let's oh, see here. I just need a pillow. Oh, good job, Lucy. Mm. First pair of shoes, and many more to come in your life, I'm sure. <laughs> I had a teacher in high school that literally never wore the same pair of shoes twice. Actually, it's she's related to Joel and uh, she has, I've, I've never seen her wear the same pair of shoes twice. She has hundreds and hundreds of shoes. So hopefully that's not what Lucy's all about, but she doesn't, um, tend, she doesn't seem to mind these ones. Have you already seen her shoe drawer? Lucy already has a lot of shoes, but they just don't fit her yet. But you already have lots of shoes. Hey Lucy, because I had you, my feet grew even more, so Mama doesn't have very many shoes in her closet now. Isn't that the weirdest thing, that your feet grow with every pregnancy? Yes, I'm like, oh darn it, I have to go get a new pair of new shoes. New shoes, <laughs> darn it. Well, we're going to get you clown <laughs> shoes from now on, so that anytime you have a baby, you'll just keep growing into them. No way. Today on the agenda, we've got a doctor's appointment, and we also have an appointment with the auto insurance to sign forms because we are switching auto insurance so wish me luck taking four kids into two different offices today this should be fun landon is going to go do research up on campus today yep but then we've got a party do you know whose party it is whose yes, birthday is it whose party is it today Russell has a birthday party, so we are invited to a birthday party. Should be fun, so keep watching. <laughs> Do you feel like you're in a big conference meeting? Yeah. Have you been good today? Yeah. Yeah. Do you deserve to go to a birthday party? Yeah. You break the TV right now. Did I break the TV? Yeah. Oh no, what happened? Show me. Did I do that? Mm-hmm. Oh no. You're right, I did. What are you doing? You're in trouble. I'm in trouble? Yeah. Oh boy, I don't know I don't know if I like this. Where's this going? You're in trouble, then you not know I like Looks like you've done this a time or two. <gasps> Guess what? You just locked yourself in the bedroom. Yeah, you go. You play TV. I broke the TV, so now I'm in trouble. Yeah. Well, you, why did you lock yourself in here too? Because you trolled in. Well, you know what? I think I like. What the heck? Can I not have a light on? I think I like being in trouble if it says I can take a nap. Oh, I'm gonna take a nap. I like being in trouble. And guess what? You're locked in here too. Yeah. You trolled. You play TV. I broke the TV. Let me show you what I did. Come here. 
Well, we have to wash Cooper's pencil sharpener because it fell in the toilet. Gross. I just want to well, at least it's clean water. You're sharpening a pencil and dropped it? Gross. Yeah, clean that up. trouble let me show you what I was doing or what I have done that stand right there was standing up vertical under the TV and it just didn't look very good there but it is a very good use in Emma's room so I am reorganizing things again around this house and Lennon he doesn't make fun of me he goes with it he puts up with me very well because I am never content with the way things are in the house anyway that serves a much better purpose here in this room to organize Emma's items and stuff and so then I thought well now I need something to go under the TV but that stand right there I didn't break it this stand right here would serve a great purpose under the TV to hold the DVD player up and to have downstairs so I got a desk and I'm gonna put a desk right there because I think that would serve a good purpose because this was what the kids do all day they have scissors, they have tape, they have pencils, they color, they cut paper, and that's just kind of a disaster in there. And so, I bought a used wood desk so that I can like refinish it, repaint it, and put it right there. Why do you want to spell the word cute? Because Russell is cute. Russell is cute? No, you do me. Are you writing him a birthday card? <laughs> She's writing Russell a birthday card, and she wanted to spell the word cute. That's pretty cute. You want to give Russell your Christmas jammies for his birthday? Do you think Russell would like those jammies? Yeah. Do you think they'll fit him? Yeah. How old is Russell going to be? Uh, I don't know. Seven. What size are those jammies? Size four. They got Russell's card. To Russell from Emma. Did you write that draw uh -huh. the bike all by yourself? What the yeah. heck? With my stencil. Hey, That's I'll really push good. It. You I'll are nice. You are I'll cute. I'll push it. What? I think he's really gonna like that. Happy birthday, dear Russell. Happy birthday to you. Hello, 30 year old grandma. All right, go to the next one. All right, that was an out and back. Now you got to drop out there. I'm just going to jump now, okay? Just for that. I love it when my sisters hold my babies. Really? Oh, yes. People like friends and neighbors and stuff like, like oh, it's like I don't want to give my baby up, but when my sisters hold my babies, it's just different. Well, it's different to hold your sister's baby. Oh, for sure. Nothing like your nieces and nephews. <laughs> she's smiling, she's smiling, she agrees. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you picking in Russell's cake while he's opening his presents? Excuse me, Julie. Okay. You're supposed to be watching him open his presents. Look. At least he's patriotic about it. Look at that red, white, and blue. Okay, go look at the presents. <laughs> 